Today our topic is .NET developer salary in India in the year 2022-2023 and after watching this video you will be knowing two things. First, what is the average salary of .NET developers for different experience levels? And second, if you are planning for interviews, then what should be your expected salary? Hi, my name is Happy and I help candidates in cracking interviews. So let's start the video. Before moving forward, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel for more interview updates on .NET and Angular. If you look at this website, this is saying a 5 years experienced candidate in .NET development has average salary of 6 lakhs per annum. Now shall we trust this information or not? Till the year 2020 it might be correct, but not now. Because from past 2 years the salary has been drastically increased in software industry. And this average is based on the data collected from multiple candidates in previous years. So we cannot trust this completely. Now the question is, what is the average salary then? Now because I help candidates in .NET interviews and very often discuss their current salaries and expected salaries, therefore I can give you some idea here. See this is the way we are going to see the salaries. The vertical y axis is for the salary in lakhs per annum from 0 to 30 lakhs per annum. Then this horizontal x axis is for the years of experience. Now for 0 to 2 years of experienced candidates, the average salary is between 0 to 4 lakhs per annum. In a way, average is 2 LPA. But we are not going to discuss this because this is a learning stage, salary doesn't matter here. One should focus on learning only in this stage. After three, this, for 3 years and 4 years experienced candidates, the average .NET developer salary now is 8 lakhs per annum. Even I have seen candidates who are getting up to 15 lakhs per annum which is excellent. When I say 15 uh, that means there are enough opportunities for this salary in current market scenario. Now someone can also get 20 also but that is exception right and we will not going to cover that. Then after this, we have 5 and 6 years of experienced candidates. The demand for 5 and 6 years experience is very very high. The average salary for them right now is around 12 lakhs per annum. And one can get up to 20 lakhs per annum in current job market. But 12 lakhs is the average which most are getting right now. After this, we have lead roles of 7 and 8 years of experience. Here, the average salary of a .NET developer is around 14 lakhs per annum in India. But as I said, salary is drastically moving upwards and there are many companies which are offering salaries up to 25 lakhs for 7 to 8 years of experienced candidates. Then we have candidates with 9 or even more experience than 10 years. For them, I found the average salary is around 5-15 lakhs per annum right now. But again, it can goes up to 30 lakhs per annum. From past 2 years, there is a lot of change in salaries of the software developers. And therefore, the salary of .NET developers has also been increased. Our salaries should not be in the green zone. Oh, sorry. Our salary should be in the green zone, not in the red zone, because red zone means we are underpaid. Now the next question is, what should be our expected salary? There is no upper limit. There are three scenarios which you can consider before thinking about the expected salaries. First is, if you are underpaid and you are in red zone, then you should ask for 70% hike. 
if you ask for 70% then they will negotiate and will give you 50% at least second is if your salary is above average salary and it is in green zone then you can ask for 50% hike which is purely valid and there is a third and very important scenario if you are not happy with your current manager or project and the most important thing project technology then you should go for even 30% hike but make sure to get work in latest technologies so this is the salary guide for you there is one more point here if you think salary in product based companies is more than salary in service based companies then you are very much right but at the same time there are some advantages of service based companies over product based companies i will not discuss them in this video otherwise it will be a long video but if you want the answer then just let me know in the comment section in the end if you are preparing for interviews then i wish you all the best if you have any queries about anything in dot net and angular career then feel free to ask me in the comment section and i will definitely reply to it thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to get the latest trends in dot net technologies